Aloha, it's Kim Deline with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your birthday month for our Taurus for the month of May 2018. So very special reading for you today and I have a new deck, yay! Um, I was in California, I was in San Diego for a podcasting conference and uh, a friend of mine lives there and we happened to upon, uh, went to a uh, metaphysical store and I found this deck sacred geometry activations and I'm really really loving it so what I'm going to be doing this month with that is taking your theme for the month from the activations deck and I've got a card pulled for you guys already then we'll be getting some additional guidance from the angels and we'll be working with the butterfly deck which is all about life changes this month because so many of my clients and so many of the people that I've um, been swirling with are going through a lot of life changes, I was guided to use this deck for all of you this month. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Your theme for this month is remembrance. I guess I'm going to put it on this side. Uh, remembrance. I always feel like I'm so far away from the camera, but I know that you guys like to see, or a lot of you like to see me actually shuffling the cards, and so that's why I have it set up this way. But we've got the Remembrance uh, is the card that's coming in for your theme for this month. So what does that mean? This month is all about remembering the spiritual truths and that soul wisdom and even perchance the wisdom from your past lives, your ancestors, really tapping into the universal wisdom as well and remembering what it is that you as a soul knows. And it's a beautiful energy for you guys, um, really because this activation is really like lighting up this area of your experience. And so it's going to be something that's more prominent. So you may have more deja vu moments this month. You may have more um, circumstances where you're like, wow, I, I feel like I've been here before, or oh, somebody tells you something and it sounds familiar, right? Or you feel a real strong resonance to it. You might get chills, which I always call um, truth bumps, or and you know, the, the in Hawaiian they call them chicken skin, right? But it's that, that knowingness and it's a confirmation that what you're hearing is right and true, resonates with your soul. So I get those truth bumps, if you will, often when I'm doing readings as, as things are coming up or when someone shares something that they're thinking about doing, if I get the, the truth bumps, then I know that that's right and true for them. So pay attention is essentially the message for you around the remembrance aspect of things. Okay, so let's see what else we've got going for you this month. interesting 717 so I, I encourage you to look up the numbers 717 because it feels to me like that's a message for you because we've got the seven of fire ace of earth and then the seven of air um, so look up that 717 um, message as well and see what the indication is for you that I use Doreen Virtue's Angel Numbers 101 app or book. She also has a book. Um, there's also lots of other great um, websites that have information on angel numbers as well. So whatever resonates with you, but I encourage you to check that out and see what the message is for you around that. And the seven of fire to start out with is about defending your beliefs. So fire is all about passion, is about action, right? And this is about standing up for yourself. It's about def defending your beliefs and your decisions. Because there may be, may be some people that don't agree with what you're doing. Maybe they don't agree with whatever shift or change that you're going to be making in your life. And oftentimes it's really just a... a um, them coming from their fear like it brings up fears in them and so they don't want you to do it or perhaps like when I moved to Hawaii you know I, I moved away from a lot of um, you know all of my family and a lot of friends and so it uh, really you know oftentimes people get in a place of where they don't want you to make the shift or change but this is really letting you know that you need to stand your ground right so really stand your ground around that um, and then really 
you know, don't argue with people about things. If it's something um, that is um, really, truly important, it's going to make a difference in five years, ten years, whatever, um, then, you know, definitely choose that as, you know, sort of a battle. I don't, I don't like to battle. I, I don't. Um, the energy of fighting against someone or something is not a good energy because what we resist or what we push against persists. So just be, be mindful of that, but definitely stand up for yourself this month. Then we've got the Ace of Earth coming in. I keep wanting to put it on that side, but I'll, I'll switch over here. Ace of Earth, Earth cards are all about how you make your money. And this is a, a beginning card, right? For Ace, for the, the Ace is the first card in that series. And this is about the inflow of abundance. So Earth is about how you make your money, what you need to do to be here grounded on Earth. And this is about abundance. Um, there may be some um, business ventures that come up that are really promising. And it really is like that um, sense of taking the reins a little bit of your life um, and, and signing contracts. There potentially could be sign, signing contracts or agreements or some sort of, um, you know, maybe a flow, uh, a reciprocal flow with someone else. So really looks good for you this month as far as finances go. So that's really a beautiful energy. And then we have um, the seven of air to throw a monkey wrench in things. I'll set that over here. Seven of Air is a little bit of a monkey wrench in that it's about plans needing to be revised, maybe things not turning out exactly as you thought they would. Air cards are all about the head, the intellect, what's going on upstairs. And there's really a lot more going on than what you see. So we really need to be tapping in and using our other senses, right? How do you feel about this? How does this... Um, does this resonate with you? Even if on the surface or on paper the person looks really good or the opportunity looks really good, how does it feel? Um, and really tapping into that. A part of this too for you is a little bit of poor timing. So maybe there's an opportunity that you um, uh, came up before and you didn't take advantage of it before and now you're, you're looking at it and now the timing maybe isn't quite right. Uh, or just in, in general the timing might not be right around that. So that is what we have for you around that. The seven, seven, one, seven, like that. So this deck, again, is the butterfly deck, which is all about life changes. And lots of people going through life changes right now. So it is a, you know, you're not alone if you are making a move or making changes. You're definitely not alone. Um, speaking of which, we've got the moving cards. So this is uh, letting you know that a move is indicated. So this move can be moving your physical home. It might be moving across town or it might be moving to another state or an island or another country perhaps. Uh, but definitely that moving energy. And I feel like You've probably had the pull for a while um, to move or that you knew, know that the place that you're living in is not the best place for you. Oftentimes we energetically outgrow our space. So energetically, um, the space, you know, maybe was really good for us for quite a while, but then we sort of, our vibration raises and then that the space doesn't feel good anymore, right? Or we need that, um, need to shift and move. And sometimes like for me, I feel like some of the moves that I've been making, I've been doing energy work in the places that I've been living. And so feng shui wise, I'm, I'm energetically shifting things while I'm there. And then um, they're having me move. And, and then I'm doing the same thing in the next place sometimes clearing out spirits, different things like that. So um, just really um, energetically, uh, it's time to move on. If it's not your home, like if you really feel like your home is the place that you're meant to be, then maybe it's your career. Um, maybe it's um, moving on from something that you've been a part of for a while. So there's other little nuances that could be coming into play here as well. And then we do have the motivation card coming up for you, which can sometimes indicate that you are not feeling motivated, <laughs> that you just are not feeling like you want to take action. You're just sort of in this contemplative state, that type of thing. And the way to get things to shift and to really feel motivated is to change up your routines. Do something different. Walk a different way when you take the dog for a walk, right? Um, go uh, to a new restaurant. Visit a new place that you've never been before. 
you know, hike a new trail. Uh, any, anything that you can do that's different is going to help energetically shift things. And then, of course, you always want to be working on things that you are inspired to work on. So if you're forcing yourself to do something, the energy around that is not going to be good, okay? We really want to be doing things that we are inspired to do because that's our spirit. Inspiration is in spirit. In inspiration is about um, the things that we're guided to do by spirit. And those are the things that we're meant to be working on, okay? Even if your mind or society or whatever else tells you, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing this, you should be doing this. Pay attention to what spirit is telling you and what you're inspired to do is the, the, um, the thing to focus on. And then we do have spiritual growth coming in this month. So this is a month of spiritual growth for you, which is really, you know, an indication of like, you may need to go within because that's where growth happens a lot of times is going within and really getting curious about what you're feeling about different things, uh, what is coming up for you in your life. And it can also be about doing things outside of your comfort zone because again, that always um, stimulates growth. So you've got kind of a good, um, really a, a, a nice month shaping up for you here with the remembrance energy coming in where you're remembering some of the things that you knew before and then all of the other aspects that are coming in. So have an amazing, amazing month. So much love to you. Stay tuned for the next little video that's going to give you a little bit more info. Much love to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here to share with you a very, very special brand new offering that I am bringing forth this month and it's so crazy because the angels had me sort of scrambling to put this together literally in less than a week and I'm just like I just shaking my head a little bit at them and I'm also super excited about it so this is a program that is starting in March and it's something that will be a continuous thing and you can join at any time and leave at any time. It's really a beautiful energy around the swirl. It is called Angel Message Circle. What a beautiful thing that's brought in around that. So what is the circle about? The circle is the group format. And this is really about uh, energetic support for you within the circle. So the other members in the group are also going to be supporting of you. And I'm also part of the circle as well, obviously. But we also have the archangels that are in the circle supporting you. And you don't, until you've experienced this, it's a really... Uh, an amazing, amazing energy to be swirling in. I had a group that I ran for about a year and a half, the Angel, um, it was a Zodiac membership group, and I ran it for about a year and a half. There were 40 some members, about 33 that were actually very active, and it was just this beautiful energy around the group format. So what I'm doing is, is similar to that, but also a little bit different. Here's how it works. Three times a month, I will be doing a Facebook Live in a private Facebook group. So you will be part of a private Facebook group. So that's our circle, right? And I will be doing a Facebook Live three times a month where you get the opportunity to ask your personal question. And even if you can't make the Facebook Live, whatever time that's at, you still get to submit the question and I will answer it within the Facebook Live. And there's also interaction within the Facebook as well. So if you have clarifying questions about something, I'm able to pop in there and share that information and guidance with you. So the first three weeks of the month, once a week, I'll be popping in and doing this Facebook Live where you get um, the answers to your specific personal questions. But the coolest thing about this, and I've seen this, how it works, is the questions that other people in the group ask are also giving information to you about your life. So it's this beautiful energy of, and even we had lots of members that didn't ask questions and they still benefited from the questions that everyone else asked. So super cool energy around that. 
And then I will be popping into the Facebook once a week to provide a, um, what they were showing me around this is some sort of message from spirit. So it might be pulling a card, it might be a postcard from spirit, it might just be a download from spirit. They're not really sharing with me exactly how that's gonna come through and it might vary is what they're kind of telling me in this moment. So once a week you'll also get that message from spirit and it's really to help you navigate that week. So it's gonna give you information about the energy of that particular week. And this is a super low cost program. You actually get to try it for the first month for only $9. So it's a way, an opportunity for you to pop in there and see what, you know, if you enjoy it, if you like it, if the energy feels good to you, right? If you want to continue, then you will be, um, uh, charge $27 per month, which is really when you think about it, I charge $70 for a 30 minute reading. And this is essentially getting an hour reading three times a month, at least an hour, because I always go until all the questions are answered. So sometimes it might be an hour and a half. Um, sometimes it, uh, I have even gone, I think close to two hours in the past when there have been a lot of questions. And um, so essentially you get three hours of reading from me, energetic um, messages and also energy work from the archangels that are working within our circle for only $27, which normally if you were gonna do three hour reading with me uh, for a month, that um, would, I, cut, I charge $135 for an hour reading, so that would cost you almost $400, and you're getting it for $27. So what an amazing deal that is for you. I have put the information in the links below, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Um, sign on for the first month, see how it goes. If you don't, if, if it's not resonating with you, I invite you and I encourage you um, to pop out of the group, to unsubscribe. If you enjoy it, uh, then keep the subscription up and you'll have this amazing energy to support you for the rest of the year. So good, so good, so good. I am sending you all kinds of love and light and again, super excited about those that are being called to join the Angel Message Circle. Much love to you.